Psalm 105, 9-10 confirms his deed to the promised land to Abraham as everlasting. Verses 9 and 10, the covenant which he made with Abraham, and his oath to Isaac, and confirmed it to Jacob for a statute, to Israel as an everlasting covenant. God confirms his covenant with Isaac in Genesis 26, 1-6. There was another famine in the land in addition to the one that had occurred in Abraham's time. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines, at Gerar. The Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land that I tell you about, stay in this land as a foreigner, and I will be with you and bless you. For I will give all these lands to you and your offspring, and I will confirm the oath that I swore to your father Abraham. I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of the sky, I will give your offspring all these lands, and all the nations of the earth will be blessed by your offspring, because Abraham listened to my voice and kept my mandate, my commands, my statutes, and my instructions. So Isaac settled in Gerar. HCSB Deuteronomy 11, 22-25 This decree follows the sons of Jacob on their wilderness journey. Be careful to obey all these commands I am giving you. Show love to the Lord your God by walking in his ways and holding tightly to him. Then the Lord will drive out all the nations ahead of you, though they are much greater and stronger than you, and you will take over their land. Wherever you set foot, that land will be yours. Your frontiers will stretch from the wilderness in the south to Lebanon in the north, and from the Euphrates River in the east to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you, for the Lord your God will cause the people to fear and dread you, as he promised, wherever you go in the whole land. And the covenant is reaffirmed as Joshua leads Israel into the promised land.